Hello guys, welcome to Creative Learning with Aru and Atharv. Today is day number 5 of our Olympiad questions practice. Let's see question number 1st. In question number 1st, we have to find the sum of 3rd multiple of 11 and the difference between common factors of 8 and 10. So let's start this question. Uh, so in this question we have to calculate three things. First we have to calculate this third multiple of 11. Second we have to calculate this part the difference between uh, common factors of 8 and 10. And then we have to calculate the sum for all of these. So let's take part number first. Third multiple of 11 is actually very simple. All we have to do is multiply 11 by 3. Because uh, uh, multiples are calculated uh, by multiplying with the counting numbers. So uh, suppose if we want to calculate the fifth multiple of 11, we will multiply 11 by 5. If we want to calculate the second multiple of 12, we will multiply 12 with 2. So third multiple of 11 will be equal to 33. Similarly, we will have to calculate this for the second part. We have to calculate the difference between the common factors. So now we have to calculate the uh, first we have to calculate the factors of 8 and 10. And then we have to get the common factors for both of them. And then we will take the difference. So let's start with the factors of 8. 8 can be written as 1 times 8 or 2 times 4. So the factors will be equal to 1, 2, 4 and 8. Right. Let's see for 10. 10 can be written as 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. So the factors will be equal to 1, 2, 5, 10. So these are the factors for 8 and 10. Let's see what is, which is common in both of them. 1 and 2 is common in both of them. So common factors for uh, so common factors for 8 and 10 are 1 and 2 and we have to calculate the difference of them. So the difference which is second part of our which is difference so difference will be equal to 2 minus 1 which will be equal to 1 so now comes the third and the final part which is the main question we have to take the sum of these two things the third multiple of 11 and the difference between the common factors of 8 and 10 so uh, now we have to calculate the sum of this and this value which is very easy 33 plus 1 will be equal to 34 and this is the answer to our question. Let's take a look at question number 2. Question number 2 states that Sam went to a birthday party. Party got over at 8 pm. If party started at 5.35 pm then how long was the party? So. Uh, there was a party uh, is which started at 5.35 p.m. and it got over at 8 p.m. So we have to calculate the duration of the party. It's a uh, simple question. Uh, so first we will uh, what we will do is 5.35 p.m. is given. So we can convert this uh, 35 minutes to hours. So this will be equal to 5 whole 35 upon 60 because uh, uh, in one hour there are 60 minutes so we will further simplify it uh, we can 5 7 uh, 12 so we can write it like this 5 whole 7 by 12 and then this mixed fraction can also be converted to a normal fraction by a simple method so this is the starting time of the party and party got over at 8 pm this is also given to us okay 
so now what we will do we have to for duration we have to calculate the duration of the party so the duration will be uh, simply the difference of 8 minus 67 by 12 so let's take uh, calcium calcium will come as 12 this will be 96 minus 67 and uh, this will be equal to 29 upon 12 so now this will be the hours how do we convert it back to uh, normal time so this is 29 by 12 we will first convert it back to mixed fraction which is equal to 2 5 upon 12 so now this 5 upon 12 which is in hours we can convert it back to by uh, to, uh, back to minutes by multiplying it by 60 so this will be equal to 25 minutes so the answer will be equal to 2 hours and 25 minutes was the duration of the party now uh, there might be uh, one question in your mind that why did we multiply this 5 by 12 by 60 see uh, the whole answer is right now in hours this is also an hour and this is also an hour so uh, in one hour there are 60 minutes so we, uh, we just wanted to convert this fractional part back to minutes that's why we multiplied 5 by 12 by 60 so in this way we have two hours which is uh, as it is and 5 by 6 5 by 12 which was fractional hours we converted it to minutes by multiplying it by 60 which is why 5 by 12 by 60 we got 25 minutes if you want a more detailed uh, explanation on this fraction and calculation uh, you can post it in the comments and I will make a separate video explaining the complete fraction chapter uh, so that it will be more easy for you to understand let's take a look at question number three question number three is very easy actually uh, we are given that uh, Tom had 250 kilogram of flour in his shop he sold 1 by 5 of 250 on Monday and 1 by 10 of 250 on Tuesday so how much total quantity of flour he sell in both days so we can calculate for Monday Monday on Monday he sold 1 by 5 part of 250 which will be equal to very easily we can calculate it uh, 50 kilograms uh, 5 times 5 is 25 and this 0 so 50 kilogram on Tuesday he sold 1 by 10 part of it 1 by 10th part of 250 will be equal to uh, we can simply get it like this 25 kilogram so the total he sold on both the days will be equal to uh, 50 plus 25 which will be equal to 75 kilograms and this will be the answer for this question let's take a look at question number four question number four in question number four we have to calculate the uh, value of P plus Q plus R plus S and we are given a uh, subtraction of two numbers here is the P this is Q this is R and this is S I have seen a similar kind of question in division also in which there is quotient reminder and they have uh, uh, um, muted or we can say uh, converted those values to like this and then ask you some kind of expression uh, this is a simpler version of that question uh, the division question is a bit tougher than that than this question so let's start with this and then in some other uh, lecture we will cover uh, that question also so let's start uh, how do we approach this question uh, see s can be easily calculated why because 7 uh, minus 2 will give us 5 so s can be easily calculated which will be equal to 5 agree now come uh, now calculate the q 
see we are given like this that there is a number uh, q from which we are subtracting 6 and we are getting a value of 1 can you guess the number like uh, from uh, from a number we are subtracting 6 and we are getting value of 1 like uh, 7 minus 6 we will get 1 so in this way you have to think so uh, in therefore q will be equal to what 7 because uh, uh, 7 minus 6 will be equal to 1 so q will be equal to 7 now to take a look at p also p minus 7 is equal to 1 so uh, there is a number there is a digit i will say not a number uh, there is a digit from which we are subtracting 7 uh, we are getting 1 so we can uh, easily uh, think of like if it's suppose p is 9 then 9 minus 7 we will get 2 but here it is given as 1 so let's uh, put uh, in place of p let's put 8 8 minus 7 will be equal to 1 so p will be equal to what 8 and now comes the last r it is given that 9 minus r we are getting 3 so if we uh, suppose if we put uh, r in place of r we put 4 so 9 minus 4 will be equal to 5 which is not equal to 3 so uh, let's put 9 uh, in place of r let's put 6 so if we subtract 9 minus 6 we will get r equal to uh, we will get 3 so r will be equal to 6 now we have all the values uh, we can simply uh, we can simply add them let me just uh, uh, take a quick look uh, we done it right so q will be equal to 7 s will be equal to 7 minus 2 5 9 minus 6 will be equal to 3 and 8 minus 7 will be equal to 1 so the answer for this question will be equal to p plus q plus r plus s which will be equal to 7 plus 5 12 plus 8 20 plus 6 26 this will be the answer for this question let's take a look at the final question of the day in this question we are given a figure we are given a triangle which is divided into uh, sub triangles like this uh, this is a triangle this is a triangle in which some parts some triangles are shaded and some triangles are unshaded okay so uh, the question states that how many shaded talking about this triangle how many shaded triangles must be unshaded so that one fourth of the given figure is shaded one fourth of the given figure is shaded uh, let's take uh, uh, let's count the number of smaller triangles in the figure so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so total uh, triangles uh, total uh, triangles I will say there are 16 triangles are there in the figure out of which how many are the shaded ones uh, shaded ones are 1 2 3 4 let's start again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so shaded are the 8 triangles right now shaded triangles are 8 now it's asking uh, if we want to uh, make if we want to make one fourth of the given figure shaded uh, we have to shade how many triangles uh, uh, let's not think about this part right now at the moment is given to us let's just keep it this way let's think again if suppose this triangle is uh, completely blank no shaded part is there and is divided into 16 smaller triangles and we have to shade it in this way such that one fourth of the uh, given figure is shaded so how do we get to that we multiply it by one uh, one fourth of 16 one fourth of 16 will be 4 so in order to make one fourth of this figure shaded we need four triangles to be shaded right now there are eight triangles which are shaded how many triangles we need to unshade or we need to unshade how many triangles we need to unshade 
फोर ट्राइंगल एट माइनस फोर विच इज इक्वल टू फोर ट्राइंगल दिस विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू अनशेड फोर ट्राइंगल देन वी कैन से लेट मी जस्ट डू सम अनशेडिंग राइट नाउ लेट्स डू अनशेडिंग ऑफ फोर ट्राइंगल दिस इज अनशेडेड दिस इज अनशेडेड एंड दिस इज अनशेडेड थ्री एंड फोर सी नाउ दे आर अनशेडेड राइट so uh, we can see uh, we can say that right now uh, how many uh, pieces are shaded 1 2 3 4 so four pieces are shaded 16 are the total number of uh, uh, parts in the triangle smaller triangle so uh, how uh, the point uh, the figure which is shaded is 1 by 4 which is also asked in the question this is how we solve this question thank you for watching this video uh there in this video there has been some longer explanation because the questions were a bit uh, complex and they needed more explanation uh, i tried my best to explain you all the questions if still you have any kind of doubt please post it in the comments i will try to reply them as soon as possible if you are liking our channel uh, do subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, hit the bell notification so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching do like and share the video thank you have a great day